starting. Okay, uh, let me know how my volume is and everything. I've uh, had to adjust stuff around uh, from, if you guys saw my uh, hand simulation stream, hand simulator stream last night, that's where it got adjusted. So just let me, um, yeah. But um, anyways, so uh, today, uh, it's, it's today, I'm pretty sure it's right yeah it's uh i am working on the patreon poll winner from last month um obviously i'm always a month off because the poll has to close that month so hey it is okay i don't even know what day it is ah! but anyways so um yeah uh the theme was mother and the winner was from what alchemist uh to make it clear with but I was thinking with mother, a lot of the options like blood related mother, they were just a character that had a motherly role. I mean, technically, is it was a mother? Not to I don't know. In the but yeah, I, I so I was like I put her in because of that. Uh, but she won un unanimously. Everyone voted for her. So pretty exciting. I actually don't. I think I've drawn her like once. It's been forever. I used to do a lot of Full Metal Alchemist art uh, back in the day. I used to be able to draw Al Alphonse uh, in his armor form too. I used to go to uh, conventions and run Full Metal Alchemist panels, so I would do like if there were guests there, like voice actors. A lot of times they'd end up on the panels with me, so um, I got in the habit of like doing art for them as like a gift. So, and sometimes I would make extra prints up and sell them in Arms Alley. So it's pretty cool. I had a lot of people who buy them and um, use them to get signed. Really fun. I actually did, uh, obviously, a lot of work on this already, because I have been on it most of the day. Oh, that's cute. I took a break to go walking. Really fun. It was really nice out today. Uh, it was hot for. It's our last day of that weather, but that's okay. Yeah, basically at this point, I'm just down to having to eat. Probably gonna be uh, one of the most red. I think I uh, figured out a really cute 
I was pretty happy with that. And uh, if you, the other day when we were playing Phasmophobia, uh, Taiku and I are aka Arex. We were talking about uh, FMA and how, uh, like, so I was reading the manga as it came out in Japan, um, where a lot of the coming out. But uh, it was the first series in a long time when I got to the ending that I was like, wow, the series ended like. Any manga I read, uh, what it is, they just like the ending, they kill it. And I know a lot of times it's because they have to rush it or don't get things quite how they want it. If you guys aren't familiar with how the manga industry works in that regard, uh, basically, um, so you have an edit, you have like a editor and stuff who's in charge of you, and you also have your publishing company, but they actually determine a lot of it. Uh, the mangaka themselves doesn't have a whole lot of say. I mean, it's not like they don't have any say, uh, but they don't get a lot of, you know, oh, hey, we can do this. So, um, you, uh, initially you would submit like your draft or whatever of the story, editor, um, and they'd be like, oh yeah, this works, or no, we don't. Uh, the company themselves, though, can tell you, hey, this character's doing really good, so we want more of them. For instance, uh, Hitsugaya and Bleach, uh, the mangaka does not actually like him. He's personally my favorite character in there, but he does not like him at all. So, Kubo, uh, that's why he's in there He's in there a lot, because the, uh, the company was like, oh no, he's popular, we should write him in. And he's like, oh. And then also some other examples are uh, both Inuyasha and Fairy Tail. I'm gonna go over. They both fit this bill. So um, Fairy Tail, uh, he wanted the mangaka wanted to end the story uh, during the S class exam arc. He wanted that to be the last arc. But because Fairy Tail was so popular, the company of the publishers was like, of course, don't end it. No, we need more. And that's kind of why the series went really flat after that. But the only reason he agreed to keep it going was because they were like, okay, well, if you do this, we'll let you write the other series that you really like. That was the prequel series to uh, Fairy Tale. If you, the first uh, couple arcs after that, I, I actually stopped reading uh, the first after that because it was so bad compared to what it had been. I mean, Fairy Tale was never as strong as some of the Anyways, but it was fun. And then I did that and I was like, but uh, Takahashi uh, Rumiko, the one who does Inuyasha, had the same thing as Inuyasha. Um, she had planned on ending the series uh, in the Shin Shintai arc, which is uh, Band of Seven in English. Yeah. So she wanted to end it in the Band of Seven. I got it. Russian. I don't like that one. Anyways. Sorry, you guys saw my secret. So yeah, um, anyway, she wanted to end it there, and um, obviously it did not, but that's why like every, if you think about it, like all the main characters and everything, all the big players were in there and had some kind of fight and combat and got to do stuff, and even the enemy themselves is probably one of the most interesting uh, villains that you have in the entire series, and it was just so good. But yeah, they wanted to continue, and they, they told her they wanted like yay amount of chapters, which is why we get the really weird stuff, um, get the, uh, gosh, what do you call it? Like, all the sword upgrades? That stuff crash. I don't know how many of you guys actually read the, I don't actually know if it's in Final Act, the anime, because I, I just couldn't go back and watch that, and I was like, so. I'm not an expert on it. And actually, uh, conversely, they can do the opposite, where, like, for instance, so, um, one of my favorite mangaka is Anzai Nobuyu. Uh, you can tell a lot of my stuff has minor input stuff for him. Uh, less than it used to, but, uh, he was one of the main, um, even the storytelling style and stuff I used. Uh, but yeah, so, he is probably best known for Flamereka, but he's done a lot of other stuff, too. I actually need to pick up his news. But that's not relevant now. Um. So when he was writing the series Mirror, or Marchen Oikin Romance, uh, he wanted to do like 
the amount of chapters, right? And they told him, yeah, you're going to do yay amount of chapters. So he started pacing it for yay amount of chapters. And then suddenly they were like, oh no, now we're cutting your chapters by like a huge amount. So then he started having to rush stuff. He's just like, crap, I have all the story I want to tell. And then suddenly they're like, okay, we'll give you some of it back. So then it, you know, started slowing down again because it's like this really mess up. But yeah, that, so that kind of stuff happens in the end a lot. And you'll notice a lot of mangas will only get like one or two chapters because they're not popular enough. Um, rating, rank, like rankings in the magazines for like a huge fan. They always do uh, like polls in like Shonen Jump and stuff like that. And if you don't meet a circuit, certain ranking in there, uh, you're out. Which is really sad because there's a lot of good series that just get overlooked because they don't really keep time to start. But at the same time, I mean, there's also a whole, there's way too many out there sometimes. So. Not all publishers are quite as cutthroat, because obviously uh, Shonen Jump is. Uh, Shonen Jump, Shonen Sunday, they, uh, Kadokawa shown a lot of different Actually, uh, Viz uh, in the U.S. was bought out by them, and that's why like Shonen Jump stuff is directly related to it now. Because I remember uh, one year at uh, Otakon going to a panel uh, with some of the uh, English, like the American, or I guess they're mostly American. I think they're all American uh, companies that deal with like bringing English manga over. And I just remember, uh, at the time, Tokyo Pop still existed. Well, I mean, I guess technically it's back now, but um, not in the same vein it was. Tokyo Pop always was questionable. But um, yeah, so I remember the guy complaining about how hard it was to get like some projects. And like he like almost that's glared at Viz and is like, well, yeah, because Viz literally made a contract with that company and then eventually got bought out by them. Like, what do you expect? Of course they're going to give their projects to the companies. Yeah, the manga industry in Japan is pretty Also, most mangaka do not have a whole lot of say in the anime adaptations of their works. So it's pretty cool when one gets to. Um, and what I mean by that is like, it's not that they, they obviously get to say, yes, make it an anime. Like if they ask them, I would make this an anime, them and the company both have to agree. You know, you can't just like, nope, I'm not doing this. Or, I'm doing this without your permission, unless the contract says otherwise. So you got that, there's always, um, generally though, they don't really have a whole lot to do with the animation project itself, which is why there tends to be a lot of changes, especially when they catch up with stuff. And then, um, in some cases, like the series totally goes crazy. I can't remember what manga it was. It was back when I was like, back when I was a wee last. Yeah, back when I was really young. Um, there's one manga I was reading and I just remember I heard it got an anime and I was really excited and then like the uh, mangaka was talking about the anime in the back of the book and you know she's trying her best to be like oh wait, this is so exciting but like basically they changed the story I just remember it was about a girl who used magic and she was not a magic girl like she didn't transform or anything she just was a girl who had some magic and was trying to normal life and she's a little kooky and weird uh, but when it got animated, they literally made it into like a magical girl series. It's like, you could just tell, like, even her notes, she's like, I'm so happy it got animated, but this is not my story anymore. Now, back to FMA, uh, Furukawa Hinomu actually got. Uh, Arukawa Furu, sorry. Ah, thanks for the bit! Actually had more say than most. Uh, and specifically with the first anime, she told them, hey, don't do this. Like, she wanted them to stay away from the story she was working on because she didn't want them, you know, to spoil manga because the manga wasn't fully out at that time. So that's why the original anime is so different than Brotherhood. 
Although I still have issues with Brotherhood too, because the original anime covered like uh, Yoki and Lior so well, and the second anime did Brotherhood did not. And I get that they're like, oh well, people have already seen this, but like you still had newcomers coming in, and Lo Yoki was like an actual important character in Brotherhood where he wasn't in the first. So cutting him out entirely and just having him be like a paper on Roy's desk was kind of weird. I know, I like to remember the weirdest shit. <laughs> but yeah, I was involved with a lot of that stuff um, when I was younger, so I learned a lot. Um, I actually it was really funny because I remember uh, at that same panel where I talked, where I uh, we watched, uh, you know, listened to them talk about how uh, translating and uh, getting uh, projects in the US was. Uh, one of the translators uh, for Viz, Lillian Olsen, was part of the panel as well. And uh, we had, we didn't have have her on our panel, because uh, at the time my mother was still doing any Asha panels. But uh, we had the other guy from Viz, uh, Toshi. So uh, my mom was talking to Toshi, and of course she's like, who are these people? I want to know. And like, I was being really quiet, but I was dressed as Kudapika from Hunter Hunter, and like, she fangirled so hard on me. And then we started talking, and we were just fangirling over Hunter Hunter, and it was great. And at the time, uh, Viz was still picking up some new projects, including Yakitate Japan, and she did not get to translate that one, but she told me it was her dream to translate that one into English. I will say, whoever actually handled, I didn't read much of Yakitate Japan in uh, the US release, but whoever did it actually did a fairly good job, because that series is just fun as puns go so. I was very impressed with the first volume. <laughs> I think that's all I might have read. <laughs> Maybe the first two. Yeah, but I don't read much uh, English release manga. Sorry, guys. I get really picky about the translations. I tend to just buy the Japanese and read them that way. My Japanese reading comprehension is high. In fact, it's actually been higher. It's always been higher than uh, like uh, my comprehension of conversation. My conversation comprehension is still uh, pretty good. Yeah, obviously. I, I can do well. But... It's kind of weird because like uh, with some languages, like uh, for instance, even Spanish. So I, I had a, like five years of Spanish when I was younger. Um, I can understand most of it and read it pretty well, but do not ask me to form sentences. I mean, I can form like nonsensical sentences. Like, not necessarily, like, they make sense, but they don't. Like, for instance, mis pantalones es muy tonto. Like, my pants are very spicy. Like, that means absolutely nothing, but I can say it. <laughs> I can also uh, read Italian and French pretty well, and even Portuguese because of Spanish, but I, I can't say stuff in, like, I know, like, a handful of words. I love language. Yes, if you speak a foreign language, always feel free to be like, hey, let me or something in chat. I had a, a one time a view of Russia come on in with TV. Russian, that was cool. I don't remember any of it. It's weird too because I have some really deep uh, German heritage, but no. Same with Polish. My dad's side is very Polish. Uh, my mom's side is German, hence the blonde hair, blue eyes. We also have some North. That's probably. But like, yeah, I guess uh, growing up, my mother's uh, father never spoke German to her, and um. Uh, my meeting with him was strange. So, uh, a little bit of a backstory here to first. Um, my mother's parents divorced when she was fairly young. Uh, and, well, I guess when she was, she was, I think she was already, it might have already been in high school, it may have still been in middle school, so I guess it wasn't that young. But it was a weird time, and it was, you know, way back in the day. So... It was a different time and just a different place. And she has two siblings. Uh, I can. Sorry, I like I'm lining you too. <laughs> oh, jump planks are hard. I can't do planks at all. Oh, speaking of jump planks, I know this is totally not 
per se related, but uh, one of my favorite uh, horror games uh, is getting a Switch release. So Cosplaying Kitten, uh, when it comes out in the US and I can get a hold of it, I will bring my Switch over or have you come here and we playing it because it will be. No. <laughs> I, I don't know, all planks. It's weird, all planks hurt my lower back. Like, I keep throwing my back out every time I do planks. Uh, does your back hurt a lot after it, or am I just that weak? Maybe my form is that bad. You can do planks and ring fit, but I, I uh, avoided it. <laughs> when they came up and they're like, you wanna set this as a skill? I was like, no, <laughs> put him away. I might be able to do it now. I just remember the last time I was doing a workout that had planks. Uh, I, my back went out three days after doing so I did them three days in a row, but I wasn't doing like huge ones. I was following a workout that was like slowly add more time. And then my back went out. And I was like, uh, I can't walk for the, like what, a week and a half afterwards. Like maybe not planks. It's good that the workout is working for you, though. I need mostly uh, low impact. But I was excited because I got to go walking today. It was it dropped to like 70 degrees, so it was a lot cooler today than it has been. Um, it was 70 yesterday too, but I did my ring fit workout before I realized that, so I was like, uh, yeah, not doing. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna see if I can get my mom to go with because. We also could use exercise. Can't we all? And like, there's a bunch of Poké stops at the park that I picked to go. To. So we went there and played Pokemon Go and walk. <laughs> we got walking done. It's gonna get hot again tomorrow, though. So I'm like, Ugh. although I still told a friend that I will go walking with her. I'm a social exercise. I think that's why Ring Fit is better for me than some of the other ones. Like going to a gym or something, because I mean, I know it's not social per se, but you have a, a like, you know, whole ring, whatever, talking to you. Also, Niburi san is very good. I do! I'll go hiking with you. Let me know when. I've actually been doing pretty good. Uh, I haven't had a lot of bad days. They switched my medication. They have bathrooms. That's exciting. Yeah, so they switched my medications uh, again, and uh, it's helping a lot, I think. Sometimes that's a, that's good, though. I also want to take you, Kitten, uh, to the... Uh, oh my god, I just forgot the name. It's the uh, trail I went with uh, Kohaku the one time she came over. We didn't get to even go through all the trails, but we were, because we got there, we decided so late to go hiking, and we were going to go close to home. Yeah, we should do a photo shoot some. Yeah, we can go on the 27th. Yeah, for sure. That'll be fun. Oh my gosh, that's so early. <laughs> I mean, I figured it would be early. I was expecting more like 10 or 11, though. I think, now that I think about it, you did tell me that you'd have to get up at like 8. That's why I decided to, uh, you know, come over. Because I'll come up to your place on the 26th. After my, uh... Japan, Japanese stream. Teaching you guys. Japanese. Sorry, guys. I'm going to actually teach. Japanese. That we. Where are recitals always at early? So, Kitten and I used to do a lot of dance. <laughs> like, I mean, an insane amount of dance. I did it for at least 12 years. So, Kitten and I have done it more for like 14. And I mean, we did mostly ballet. I'll take it. Hydrate. <sighs> yeah, I, was gonna say, I always thought 
thought ours was. I mean, I guess we were having to still keep early. Ah, oh, they split them. Oh, that makes sense. Is it different, uh, like different kids in them? They could get all their students, or is it more of one of those so they can have like, uh, they have to do it twice so they can hang in? Okay, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I was like, I didn't know which way they did it, but that makes sense too. Either way, it still splits like the amount of people that would be coming. Oh yeah, that's good. Well, especially because I would say uh, some of the kids aren't that old. I mean, it's weird. I wouldn't say we had like a dance mom per se, but because she did a lot of help with the studio and stuff, uh, we were usually there really and really early. She even did like a lot of the costume, so. And Kitten and I would take the scraps of fabric and make Barbie clothes out of it. Very bad Barbie clothes. <laughs> Yeah, my sketches for her hair are a mess. Power. So one of the most weird random things I remember about uh, the dance recitals we used to have was uh, it was, I don't even know if there were guys in our studio until way later. So it was like all girls, but uh, they were, they, they had, the girls bathroom was always full. So most of the time we bathroom because nobody I know, it's a very weird thing to remember. I can actually in vivid detail remember what the uh, uh, venue looked like backstage. I don't remember what it looked like on stage, but I remember backstage. It was at a high school. I don't know which. Pretty sure I could easily find it out, but I don't really care to. That's your neckline. Ahead and drop that. I'm probably gonna have to read parts of that anyways. That should help me. That. I know I seem like I'm so out of shape now, but I was actually pretty active as a kid. Dance and Competitive tumbling, um, also did cheerleading for a bit. Not for a long time, though. I never played a sport, though. Not, I mean, obviously I did in gym, but like actually pretty sports, sports, sports. I also was not a cheerleader at a school. I was for Pop Warren. So that would have been all I think.
actually used to have some pretty good eye hand coordination. Wouldn't know that now either. My vision sucks. Also, my uh, mind moves faster than my hands can, so uh, my reaction is off at times. Ah, she caught the knight. I will say I wasn't horrible at sports as a kid. I wasn't great. Um, I I've always had breathing issues. We just don't know what they were when I was young. So I've always lacked a lot of stamina. I just wrote it as off as I lack stamina, but I was literally because I couldn't breathe well. Um, but I was actually pretty good at tennis. Uh, I I could uh, I was like Ryoma. I played tennis with both hands. In fact, uh. When I was in high school, I remember I was uh, I took a gym in the summer for uh, to get it out of the way or whatever. And uh, one of my friends, I, I had two different friends with me, and we had to split into groups of two, but there was an odd number, so we ended up splitting into a group to play tennis. Um, and originally we were just swapping who got to play, but we're like at one point they're like, okay, I kept winning all the games, so they're like, okay, we're gonna go against uh, you know. Two versus one, and I was like, that's fine with me, whatever. And then they're like, okay, and we want more of a handicap, so play with your left hand. Uh, I played better with my left hand, they didn't do that. <laughs> uh, it's probably still true now. My left hand is definitely stronger than my right hand. I was like, Ryoma, though, play tennis too. Double handed. Yo, set. Either hand works. I was also strangely good at volleyball. Um, I'm not very good at like, I guess I should say not every aspect of it, but like, um, so like I can't, uh, my, I, like I couldn't hit a ball very well and I, my jumping skills aren't great. I'm not like, uh, Hinata, but I could, uh, serve really well. And I think that surprised a lot of people, so. I actually sprained my hand playing volleyball once, and it was funny because I was still in school, and uh, it was during uh, like a uh, winter break that I sprained my hand because I, I went to a lock-in with a friend and I sprained my hand playing volleyball because everyone always kept making me serve because I was really good. So as long as we had the ball and I'd always start to serve, uh, we usually kept it for most of the game. So I was a lot good. Game. Yeah, I sprained my hand because I played. And I got back, and, and of course, uh, you know, one of uh, the other students jokingly was like, oh, what'd you do? Draw too much and you sprained your hand? And I just remember, like, no, I played volleyball. And, like, the look on everyone's face, but she played volleyball. <laughs> I guess everyone only saw me drawing and reading. I'm like, no, I sometimes, sometimes. Just infrequently. Yeah, so that was my uh, strong thing in volleyball, with serving. Uh, that's about it, though. I wasn't super good at anything else. I could hit the ball. Let's see. I remember the one time I tried to knock it over the net when it was like, I guess, what is that called? Like a spike? Yeah. And uh, nobody ever expected me to do it, so somebody else jumped too, and I ran right into him. And then I was really... And he apologized, and I was like, it's okay. It's okay, you got it. I'll leave it to you. I will stay in my corner. Basketball was definitely a weird one for me to do. Um, so, like, I'm not very good at dribbling. 
and I suck at passing unless, you know, so it's like usually up to the other person to uh, be able to hit the ball. But um, I uh, could shoot three pointers. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, I was a really weird at sports kid. They're like, what the hell? You don't know what to do. Don't ask me to run. I I can't do the dread melon ring fit at all. Like I can't even activate it to the point that like that mini game like where I can even do anything. I'm hoping maybe at some point if I get my stamina up I can try it again, but yeah, it was pretty bad. Um I tried it and I couldn't even like start it because I was so bad. I mean, I definitely never played like football or anything. Pretty sure I sucked at baseball and softball. I mean, I guess I was okay at soccer, but not like, I, I, I would probably say less than uh, average, <laughs> just not horrible. That's okay, now I just watch anime sports instead. Did any of you guys play sports uh, growing up or still play sports now? I guess technically now we have eSports. I could do that. Ish. Sorry, I'm still drawing her dreads. I don't even think I have like a favorite sport all around. At one time I wanted to be an ice skater. Obviously never did that. That that would have been hard though. a little
So this month's theme is father, and I'm sure you can imagine a uh, option that one. Too. If I had to actually personally pick a best mother in any anime series, though, I would probably pick the mom from uh, Boku Daimachi, which I think they translated as erased in the. I thought she was. Yes, a cat girl shell! Woo! I could easily have an elf girl. Guys, there's lots of elves on my. Are you putting your shelves together right now? You guys should all be shocked that Kitten has, uh, likes cat girls. Saw it coming. Yeah, eating is good. What are you having for dinner? I'm gonna have a salad. How did I turn them on? I don't even. I still need to try those zuki nachos. Oh my gosh, eight meals, wow. Hopefully you like him that much. I guess so, eight meals could be like only four days. It doesn't a lot. I mean, that's still a lot of nachos. That sounds good too. Chicken meat, IKEA chicken meatballs with broccoli and. Lily! Why do cats lick the weirdest things? Hana licks tape all the time. I have to keep stopping her. Oh, cat, it's tape. Arata licks his. Sounds really bad now that I said it. toy guys I know a lot of cats like, uh, salty things. I think boxes. I'm wrong. Ah. I think the weirdest thing I ever ha had a cat lick, which a kitten knows because this is a cat we had when we were growing up, was we had a cat named Anya. Really like this one Barbie doll. Uh, so we had turned a bunch of our Barbie dolls into 
character. Like by cutting their hair and styling it and everything. And it was the one that we had as Yaten from uh, the Sailor Stars. And it, that, that cat really liked that Barbie for some reason. Lot. Just that one. Yeah, was a good cat though. She was actually the cat that made me a cat person because I used to be a dog person. Not like literally, I'm an elf, obviously. Ignore the fact that my sister's a cat. The other day I made um, this sweet and savory uh, cheese pie thing uh, that we just finished last night finally. I think it's meant to be more of like a, a dish served as a side dish at like a party or something. A lot of it. Very cheesy. But I suppose it's the name. It didn't really involve a lot of cooking either. All I had to do is cook the bacon. I guess I kind of did. I had a uh, um, recruiter contact me today, or last night, and uh, asked about a job and that if I could do it. And I was like, yeah, I can do this. I meet the requirements. So they wanted to call me for an interview to set everything up and make sure everything was copacetic. And so they called me this morning. We went over things. They were transferring my job. So. Just a contract position, and I don't expect to get it, but it was like, yay. Then later in the day, I had another recruiter contact me about a web design job, so I was like, okay, do find for me. Meantime, you guys are all keeping it alive. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay with contracts. I mean, especially because it's remote, so. It might be like, I might eventually have to go into Chicago for it, but like, or like you know, like one or two days, but I'm like, that's that's fine. The job market is horrible unless you want to work like low paying fast food, get shit on by customer. Actually, I think that's the worst part about like retail and fast food. It's like, dude, why are you so mean? I never understood it. I mean, yes, there are some employees who are don't have the best attitude, but in general, it's like they're doing, so many of the times, they're just doing their best and they didn't do anything wrong and people just go off on them. Screw the customers, right? They're not. 
They're hardly right. Ever. I wish I had a lot of money so I could leave like We actually have carryouts around here. I don't know if you guys are familiar with what that is because there's a lot of places that don't have them. But it's pretty much um, what it sounds like. Uh, it's so they work at grocery stores and they help you carry out your groceries. Especially when you have like big loads or something. So I always um, keep a couple things in my wallet to tip. So I've noticed if I'm at the, the grocery, the one grocery store in the area that has a carryout, uh, and they see me. Oftentimes they'll carry out my groceries even if I don't really need the help. And I was like, that's okay. I'm still going to give you a tip. You guys are working hard. I think the biggest tip I ever gave a, wait gave a waitress was actually, uh, uh, at Baker Square on Pie Day one year, uh, Zillary and I went, uh, to get our free pie. And it was crowded as fuck, as expected. So uh, we, you know, put our names in and then stepped outside so we were out of the way while waiting for our names to get called. Because they told us, you know, it would be like this many minutes or whatever. Step back inside when it got closer. Um, and so first off, this Karen, I guess, uh, gave us, you know, she's like, why are they getting seated first or whatever? And it's like, well, because they were here first. Just because we didn't sit inside the lobby and crowd up doesn't mean we weren't here first. Sure enough, our name was quite a bit ahead of her on the list. I wanted to bitch about it. But, um... So yeah, you know, we get down. Uh, it takes a while for our wait. Our wait just comes over right away, but it took her a while to get our drinks. And we're like, that's fine. You know, we can tell she's swamped. The area is loaded. Uh, we get our food. Um, and I had told her at the beginning I was going to order an extra piece of pie. Because I was still living at home back then. And I wanted to bring pie uh, for my mom. So I was going to pay for it. My meal came with a pie, so I was like, yeah, that, that, I guess that counts as free pie, because they're not going to give me another one, which is okay. I wanted that meal. And, like, I guess everyone was being so to her, and me and Zillary were like, whatever, we'll just chill and talk and catch up on stuff and enjoy, slow enjoy our meal. And so uh, she came over at one point and wanted to thank us. Like, she's like, you guys have been some of my best customers all day. You're like, we're like, you can tell you're swamped. We're not in a hurry. It's just time. And then, uh, she ended up also giving me the second piece of pie for free. Super nice of her. So Zillaway and I left her. Because we're like, she was great. She was doing her best. She was not, like, like, she would, you know, she wasn't always getting our stuff out right away. But it was like, she'd still come by, like, when and wave. Like, okay, sorry, I haven't gotten this yet. Or, oh, I'm, you know, I'm sorry. I just, I'm, it's in there. I'm getting it. Or your order is in yet but you know back there and a lot of it wasn't her fault especially with the cooks and stuff over i was just like why why are you guys yelling at the wait not her fault that a good came out to eat everyone wanted pie can you blame i like their french silk pie that's my favorite pie i don't really, really like crust so um Yes, I'm one of those who does not eat the crust on pizza unless it's stuffed with cheese. But, uh, yeah, so, like, I French silk pie. I like the fruit filling in pies, but I don't normally like the pies themselves. Um, I do like, uh, was it German apple pie is pretty good? Key lime is good. But most of the ones that are my favorites don't have a lot of crust on them as pie. Also, I love chocolate even if I have a chocolate allergy. It's very mild though, so it's not that bad. I've made a few people horrified when I told them that because they see me eating chocolate and they're like, what the hell? You're allergic. And it's like, it's fine. Basically, if I eat too much of it, my throat swells, but I'm not talking like a couple bites of a candy bar kind of thing. I mean, like if I ate the whole candy bar, depending on what it was and how big it was, I might have issues. I don't think I've ever actually sliced candy bar in a long time, though. I usually split them with people. You can't eat that much in one sitting. 
I like dark chocolate better anyway. So like I can eat a piece of chocolate cake, but I couldn't eat the whole cake by myself. So stop things. But I even though I'm an adult, I'm responsible enough not to eat the whole cake. Reminds me, I wanted to bake something. Father's Day. My father has not answered me back on actually doing anything, but I figured at the very least I'd bake him something to drop it off. Chocolate is the best with you guys think so? Like chocolate and cherry and chocolate and strawberry, chocolate and raspberry, chocolate and orange. Chocolate mint is really good. Yes, I like mint. I don't think mint to use for cheese. Oh my god, a roll of blood. Speaking of things tasting weird, uh, the other day when uh, my mother came over to help me with something, I was showing her the ancestry report I had gotten uh, like a year or two back, and it's strange because like so they've updated stuff so there's new features, but like my genetics say I have a predisposition to think cilantro doesn't taste good or taste like soap, I guess, but I like cilantro and I do not think it tastes but even though I'm more likely to think that, I do not. I was just like, wow, people. Is that way people don't like cilantro? Because it tastes like. I mean, I do have one friend who thinks uh, chocolate tastes like a mold, like a rotted meat. Everyone is different. And I don't like the taste of water or the smell. Yes, I drink water. I just uh, usually have to put food in it or hydrate it. I can't explain the taste or smell, it just has one. Done yet? Okay, No, no, my god, no. Hit the wrong button. Uh. Panic! Panic! Okay, uh, let's go to my reference. That is literally reference. I just wanted to try to match her skin better, but I don't think this one. Maybe her hair was black. Do I even want to color her hair? No. So while Izumi was the winner, uh, I also added Ed and Alan, obviously. See the cute! No, oh, baby. Actually, I think I'll do Oliver. I know a lot of people call her teacher or sensei, but I, I always knew her as a student. I still.
Now we get some actual. I don't know what I just did. I was talking to somebody earlier who was like, you only need one hand to dis- oh, I was like, oh my god, no. Uh, my other hand hits all the shortcut keys. Like, I save constantly. I said it. No, it's just on my tablet. Gotcha. I swear Ed's not strangling him. Kind of looks like that does it. Nothing can be made with it. Civil in exchange.
bring the key. That was off here, guys. Why I'm so tired. I, mean, I didn't work out a lot today. I walked a lot. Actually, gotta add. Oh my God, that's so. Ugh. are kind of weird. Ah, weird noises. Okay. Some Akiba soul packages, and 
I started meowing in the car and she's like, what is, what's wrong? What are you doing? And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I just do that sometimes. Great though, she's so, hell. Stop, Kojika. I like to try to mimic Arata. Arata's meow is great. It's like, ow, 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 ow. In short, he is very loud. He's got like this crazy forlorn sounding meow at times. I have no idea what that cat's on. feel like Tuesday. I don't know what day of the week it's like, but... Wow, I didn't miss that. I don't like these burn tools, but for some reason, help me. First off, be late. Second off, stay in the line. I think he should have like blushes, like rosy cheeks. Should I just leave? Ah! 
dancing hands are everywhere. I actually had drawn L first and then uh, erased parts to put. Alright guys, alchemy cost an arm and a leg. That's a lie, it also costs his body. That's why you don't bring people back to life. They're dead. Actually, this topic comes up a lot in some of the author groups I'm in. So, like, how do you guys feel about characters coming back after they died? Like, you know, being brought back. Personally, I hate it. Like don't get me wrong, I am as sad as you guys are when my favorite character dies. But I feel like there is very rare that the justification for them coming back to life or coming back is good. So it annoys me. And a lot of times too, uh, you have these characters who got with like, they go out in such a dramatic way and it really builds character development for them and a bunch of other characters. So, bringing them back, you undo all of that. At least that's how I feel. Now, that doesn't mean that it's always a bad thing, it just means you oftentimes not written very well, I guess is the better way to say. So sorry guys, if a character is dead in one of my stories, they're dead. You'll know if they're not dead. Yes, I have killed off many a character. Altier is still the worst. As far as character, number of character deaths, their volume of them, I guess. But um, it sounds like most people were actually most upset about either a major character death in Zephyrus or a major character death in the Archive of Sin. I won't tell you uh, either of them in case you haven't read them. You should first off go read them. Second off, you know, uh, not kill me when you die and you're sad. Let me know. Let me be like, oh my god, why did you kill that person? Why would you do it? I kill everything. Short hair is weird to shade for me. I like longer hair better.
I hear it somewhere. I also think that a bad character can be a bad character and doesn't have to be, like, likable. Like, I'm not saying that they shouldn't have human flaws. What I'm saying is, like, you don't need to become, like, a character your audience feels sympathetic towards, always, because there are bad people, even if they have good traits. Like, for instance, Hitler likes dogs and to paint. Like, that does not make him a good person. At all. It's horrible. In fact, I personally think that's what makes him even worse and perhaps more shocking is the fact that he had a humanity to him in some ways, but he was obviously not. A hu he was such a monster. I also saw a good saying about that once that was basically some of the extent of as a kid, uh, you're, you fear the monster ever in the dark. As an adult, you learn monsters are... Yeah, humans suck I think as will hair will be able to because it has more. Oh, sorry, I'm shaking. Give myself a second.
growing up, uh, my little sister was with Alphonse. We started build fighters, uh, dive. Okay. Next in the line of our Gundams. We're basically done with all the core Gundam at this point until like Hathaway Flash and some out. Uh, uh, and I guess random Gundam seed. Anyways, um, it's basically a Gundam MMO, and I'm so jealous. I want to play it in real life. Ah, what? Sneaky, sneaky out. Let. Obviously, I'm not fully done with this slightest. I might get some more done tonight, and then I'll post it on Patreon when I do. If you're a $10 tier or higher, you can see it up close. Woo! Anyways, um, thank you guys for coming. I am going to get some food now. Uh, also, I will be on later tonight playing Overcooked with uh, a crazy gang. So uh, look forward to that. I'm going to stress test uh, Wong's piece. Good night! Or, I mean, go eat.